Brit, RD. We're gonna make double chocolate peanut butter banana bread. Yeah, right? What else do I have to say about that? Not much, because it's that amazing. It's one of my better inventions, I think, that I've ever made. Here's a secret. Dietitians eat chocolate all the time, and most of the ones that I know will eat chocolate for breakfast. So there must be something to it, and actually there is. Cocoa, specifically cocoa powder, chocolate, dark chocolate, there's like all kinds of research on chocolate, and all of it is beneficial, but there's still a lot of saturated fat in chocolate. However, cocoa powder doesn't have any saturated fat in it. That's what we are gonna be using today. The kind of chocolate I'm using is a natural cocoa powder, Dutch cocoa powder, which is alkalized. Really awesome, but I don't think it has the same beneficial properties as natural cocoa powder, but I keep both because I really love baking with this stuff, so that's really good too. And actually, I keep a lot of chocolate here. So we're gonna be making a double chocolate peanut butter banana bread today, which usually is a hit pretty much in anybody's household. However, there are a lot of people that are allergic to peanut butter, so you don't have to do the peanut butter part. You can substitute that with oil, and when we get there, I will show you when to do that. I'm not the person that makes the bananas right away when they start to go bad. What I do is I peel them and freeze them, and they look like this gross nastiness here. I'm gonna need all of these. So it's about, ooh, it's so gross looking. What is that, four? Four large bananas, five medium bananas. I want it really ripe. It's gonna be a big part of the sweetness of this dish, and then you just start grossly mashing this together. Ugh, so disgusting so good. Bananas are super high in potassium and magnesium. Bananas are super versatile. Mashed, done. Yogurt. Instead of a lot of butter, I use plain Greek yogurt. One third of a cup of Greek yogurt. Ha ha. And you know what? This is how I do it. I take a dry measure. I know it's a wet one and I just scoop it out. It's not perfect. If you wanted perfect, you would weigh it. I'm just making, making some banana bread, for goodness sakes. Ha, 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 two eggs. Ooh. Peanut butter. I don't care what kind of peanut butter you use. Or almond butter, or soy nut butter. You can also use a quarter cup of oil if you don't feel like using but peanut butter. So basically, I just take a scoop of peanut butter, dump it in. People think dietitians are the food police, and we are the exact opposite of that. We kind of look at you like, what do you mean you don't eat this and don't eat that or whatever? We are the exact opposite. But we do respect people that can't eat something. If you are allergic to peanut butter, please be safe. Where was I? Sugar. It's a big thing of sugar. I need one cup of sugar. This is a huge loaf. And that's it. And we're just gonna mix this together. Get the peanut butter kind of incorporated with the bananas. I actually am kind of lazy about it because I don't mind little ripples of peanut butter through the chocolate banana bread. Just make sure the, all the eggs and the yogurt are well blended, okay? Okay. Moving on, in another bowl, one and a half cups of flour. Half a cup cocoa powder. It doesn't have to be organic or anything. A half a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of baking soda. You know what I'm doing that you should not do? You should have all this stuff out ahead of time. I'm just kind of like coming in here, doing my thing, and I don't have everything out that I need. That's not how you're supposed to do it. I'm just gonna whisk that together. You really want to take your time here and make sure you get all everything combined. Okay, one more thing we gotta add. And if I don't hide them, my kids eat them. Chocolate chips. It's one cup of chocolate chips. And they're semi-sweet, dark chocolate chips. One cup, this was a half cup measure. Whoops. And you wanna add it to the dry ingredients. The chocolate chips then get coated with a little bit of flour and they tend to adhere better and sort of stay evenly dispersed in your 
And then all you do is you add one to the other. And I know, normally you're supposed to do wet into dry, dry into wet. You know what happens? Nothing. But I do do what I'm told most of the time. You just kind of want to like look towards the bottom of the bowl if you can and make sure you got it all incorporated. And once it's all done, good enough. Last thing, spray a pan. This is the kind that has a little bit of flour in it so it really makes sure your baked good doesn't stick. So this is a nine by, what is this? It's a loaf pan, but it's the bigger loaf pan. I'm just gonna dump it in. We are gonna drop this in a preheated oven, 350 degrees for about an hour. The end. World's greatest breakfast loaf in the world. It'll shake, tap it down. Okay, all right, I'll see you in an hour. We're just gonna clean this up, bye. So it's been about an hour. We're gonna pull this bad boy out. Look at this, it's so pretty. Ooh. Now, you can let it rest for a few minutes before you take it out of the pan. I usually let it rest a little bit, but we're gonna take this one out so you guys can see it. I like to run a knife along the outside. This way, my hands are just best. Double chocolate, peanut butter, banana bread. And it smells amazing. Best invention ever. I'm obliged to have a slice. It's a little warm. I probably normally would let it cool a little bit longer before I cut into this because it's going to be a little crummy. I'm going to let it cool. If you can help it. Oh, look at that. It's so good. And you know, it's just peanut butter, yogurt, banana. There's a little bit of sugar in it, but. Chocolate. This is so good. You have to make this. I'll see you next time. Bye.